What's going on, guys? So one of the biggest mods for City Skylines that has come out in recent memory, that being the intersection marking tool, that mod alone absolutely changed the game for so many people. Well, it has recently had an update that has made it even better as if it could be better. What you're looking at right here is what can be done with intersection marking tool now. Everything you see on the screen alongside this two, this uh, four lane highway is not hand placed. Not a single prop or single tree was placed by hand to create this little effect right here. This was all done with the latest update to intersection marking tool. Let's jump over here and let me show you how it's done. So here we have a boring old stretch of road. This is one of the big urban roads from uh, Hockenheimer. Amazing uh, set of road assets if you are looking for an American style road. But uh, what we can do with this is really, really cool. So we're going to go under our intersection marking tool right over here. And mine is located with my uh, unified UI uh, category right here. We're going to take that segment right there and we're going to add a line. We're going to add a line right over here on the edge. Now, if we go under style, we have some new stuff. These are new things that were added with the last patch. We have uh, props, trees, pavements, decorative networks. We have lots of stuff. If we look under pavement right here. Of course, if this was not a pavement, it would add a pavement. Simple as that. If we look under props, this is something really cool. We can add any prop in the game. Anything. You name it. It's right here. All the props, all the props, including uh, base game props um, and downloaded props that you have from the workshop. Everything is right here. For this right here, what we want to look for, ploppable grass. So I'm going to find my, my ploppable grass assets right here. And there is a little search menu, so you can search for what you're looking for. So I want my ploppable grass square four. All right. Well, it's, it's down below there. Well, that's not cool. Let's bring that up. Let's raise that elevation. And all of this can be done with your mouse wheel. So going to bring it up to uh, 0.3 meters, which is typically the height of the curb. Well, you see it's clipping. Let's hold down control and get some fine grain movement. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Now we're going to change the step and let's just hold down shift. It has lots of lovely little pop-ups right here. So we're going to hold down shift and change it by 10 and bring that together. And then we're going to let go of shift and we're going to fine tune it just a touch. Then we're going to keep doing it until it has a nice smooth curve or nice smooth amount. And then we're going to use um, the shift and we're going to use our mouse wheel and bring it over where I want it to go. And then we're going to keep messing around our elevations till it gets about where we want it. Now, it's not going to be perfect. Unfortunately, right now, uh, certain things that are not terrain conforming, like this ploppable grass, for instance, this is not terrain conforming. Um, we could try the sunken one. I don't remember if the sunken one does or not. Let's try that. No, a sunken one doesn't either. So if you have stuff that is not terrain conforming, it's not going to look super pretty. Um, but we're going to cover a lot of it up. So really, this is just a base for us right here. So try to find terrain conforming stuff as best as you can for doing things like this. It's going to really help out. I'm just kind of demonstrating this right here to show you what it can can do for you. Uh, you know, I would probably try to make it a little bit more perfect later on. So. Boom, we have grass. The poppable grass matches up to your, the grass texture you have, and it's awesome. Well, we want some trees now, so we're gonna add a rule. We're gonna add trees. All your different trees are in the game. They're all right here. It's really, really nice. So I wanna look for some uh, London plane trees. We're gonna grab some of those in, and oh my God, there's so many of them. Eh, that's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna take that prob probability down to let's say maybe 30%. We're going to bring those up to 0.3, which again is the height of uh, the curb. And then we're going to bring those back. Now, you have to play around sometime with the scroll wheel to figure out which way you want everything to go. So I want these to come back to maybe about 0.4 off there. Okay, so that's a start. Not bad. 
You can change the on the uh, offset or the on the offset before or after. That just changes uh, how far apart at the beginning of end it change. Uh, you know that they can start. You just change all those at your leisure, however you want to do it. It will randomly do stuff, and as you add more rules, it's going to change it around as, again. So it may not be perfect the first time, but don't worry. You're going to keep adding stuff to this. There we go. Now we've got a really nice little roadside. So there's other stuff we can add, of course, as well. Things like uh, decorative networks. So your decorative networks are all of your different uh, fences. So the castle ruins, trench ruins, park fences, all of that kind of stuff. And if you have anything downloaded that is a network, those uh, go in as well, including retaining walls, including retaining walls. No more having to sit there and fight to try to get retaining walls uh, along. A lot of people use retaining walls for their highways or different things like that. Now we can add them in. Boom. Retaining walls instantly up there. All you got to do is shift them around. It's so awesome. We're going to use our farm fence again, and I'm going to there is no it. The farm fence actually does go all the way already up at this level. It's not down in the road, so there's no elevation. We're just going to bring it back a little bit. Maybe about right in here. That'd be pretty decent, right about there. We're going to go there. If we wanted to, we can invert. You can do all kinds of different stuff with it. There's all kinds of fun things. And then there you have it. But now we need to get it over here. Well, over here, you could draw a line. And then you could start, you could go back and forth and start copying and pasting and everything else. Um, and that's what you need to do. That's what I would recommend doing at first. Don't save as a template because it only saves each of these single things. So get your other side set up. Go through, copy and paste from one side to the other. Okay, trust me, you're going you're gonna to love this. I'm going to come down here. We're going to go right here and paste. And we're just going to start doing that for everything. All right, there we go. Uh, don't worry too much about how it looks going up, going in. All we're doing right now is kind of getting it set up and get the basics in there. So now what you really want to do is you actually want to take one of these and you want to set, you want to go up here to the top and you want to set, save this as a preset. Now I already have the preset done road trees right there. It's a, it's a slightly different one. So let's call this uh road bushes because I have bushes on this one. So that's road bushes. So now we've saved this as a template. So now what I can do is we can go to another section of our road right here. And all we have to do is go into presets. And right here, we select the one we want, hit apply. Boom. It's done. It's in there. It's finished. It's already done. And if I'm not super keen on maybe how it's done some of that, I can go in here and fine tune it. Maybe I don't like how it's done. Maybe some of those trees. We'll just go in there. We'll, we'll kind of play around with it until it kind of gets exactly where I want it to go. It's all you got to do is kind of sit there and play with it a little bit. You can fine tune things and try to get it kind of where you want and look at how you want. You The possibilities are absolutely endless with this. But once it's in there, it's in there. And now look, we have a lovely tree-lined, fence-lined, four-lane highway running through the town. That is so cool. And not a single prop or anything has been used. We go under trees, props, you can see nothing. It's all built into the network. It is absolutely amazing. And you can create all this kind of stuff right here like i've done now you can see it's kind of uh kind of got a little weird because we're going uphill so i'd have to come back and fine tune this so you can apply those presets to any road as long as they have the same number of uh nodes they have to be it has to basically be the same kind of node network like this uh this particular rural highway does not have the same number of nodes if we take a look right here 
This has one, two, three, four, five. This one only has three, so I couldn't do it there, but I can do it on this road right here. So I could come to this little road, add that in, boom, done. I'd have to go in and make a, a few small adjustments to it, but not a big deal. Oh, look at that, done. Now, the corners don't quite line up, and uh, that is going to be expected. You may have, you'll have to go in there, do a little touch up, you know, maybe do, maybe add in a, a poppable grass uh, corner right here to clean this up but this is so much better than having to go through and do it all by hand and placing everything by hand it saves so much time let's take a quick look at a couple of other things that we could do with this so right here you see i've got these actually let's start over here over here you can see i've got some trees i've got some trees in this town square and you know they're not bad you know but they're kind of they're, they're hand placed these trees right here have been done with uh imt so let me show you how the trees and the little guards around them all done with that so let's go over here and do that let's get rid of these three trees and i'll show you how quick this is we're gonna go here we're gonna grab this particular node Drag from there to there, because that's where I want it to be. I'm going to grab a tree. It's a regular street tree. And then what I wa actually want to do is see exactly what my settings are over here. So a step of 14 and a shift of 8. So that's what I need to make sure I do. Step of 8. A shift of 14. Well, if I can, if I can type in the box... Okay, so it put them in some weird places compared to that one. And I did it and I did it backwards. <laughs> Step of 14 and a shift of 8. I can't type still. There we go. Ah, oh, perfect. Look how perfect that is. Okay, that's where I want them to go. So we're just going to add a rule. We're going to add another prop. I'm going to grab those guards again. And again, we're just going to do the same thing. Make sure I'm doing this right. Step of 14 and a shift of 8. I always have to double check. Boom. And there they are. Perfectly aligned with our little trees right there. That makes me so happy. I would come through the entire downtown and redo this entire thing. Uh, something, another fun little thing you could do is we can, if I wanted maybe some brick right here, we could come over here. We can add a rule. Again, we're going to add a prop. Yeah, let's find my, uh, let's find some brick paving tile maybe right here. Actually, no, it's a uh, paving. There we go. Let's find this paving right here. Not sure what that one will do, but we'll find out in a second, won't we? So that brings that right there all the way. I don't want it right there. I kind of want it back over here a little bit. But let's put this right here, maybe back at two. There we go. Then we'll just work on that step and just keep going back with it. And now it lines up beautifully with the curb. All I would really need to do maybe is come in and add a few extra. And then I could I could play around with the step to see if maybe I could decrease that step. Now that I have them in place, it's going to follow that curve exactly. I could just play around with it with my scroll wheel and get them perfectly lined up. And then, you know, probably just go back in and add a few extras. So you can do so much with this tool. It is absolutely awesome. The update, uh, you can go through and do all kinds of fun stuff. Let's just take a quick brief look at one thing. I want to show you what, uh, how, how it changes the look. Let's take a look at this street right here. This is a, uh, a standard two lane, uh, big urban road with sidewalks on each side. Let's take a look and see what happens after I change it. Look how good that looks. I, I don't know about a lot of you, maybe in other countries or something, but here in America, that is what our roads look like. 
uh, maybe not even with the yellow line going down the middle, you know, just a, it would be just a, an unmarked asphalt road with grass right up to the edge, right up to the road, basically. That, that right there is what it would look like. Now, there's a few quirks with it. Yes, if you do something like this, people are going to walk through everybody's front yard. That it is what it is. But for the visual look of it, hey, I will deal with some weird quirkiness of people walking through ever walking through the grass. I don't care. That looks fantastic to me. Go check it out. If you don't have those tools available to you already in IMT, unsubscribe, resubscribe to the mod to force the update. Go in there and start playing around with it. You, the sky is the limit with what you can do with this thing right here. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.